Hi folks, take a look at these cool little steel competition targets. I put a standard 30 round PMAG up there as well so you can get an idea of their size. Let's go over what they are for other than making your significant other roll their eyes at you. For most of us working stiffs with busy work and home schedules, it isn't easy to get out to the range on a consistent basis for practice time, considering that weekends are typically when we're trying to get out to matches, enjoy family time, or getting errands done. Enter the use of airsoft pistols to get some concept practice in on, at your own home. Add in the low cost of airsoft BBs compared to real ammo as a benefit also. Grab a gas blowback pistol that is close in style to your competition gun grab a bunch of airsoft BBs, and put together a training plan such that you can work on weaknesses you've identified during self-evaluation. Ideally, you have a shot timer that can pick up airsoft shots in order to chart the improvement plan. At the least, you're getting time behind the sights, which is very, very beneficial as it is. Airsoft practice is not something to scoff at, as it is a useful companion to dry fire and live fire. Many successful competitors supplement their usual practice time with airsoft. Moreover, for those that simply cannot devote their lives to bring at the range constantly, the airsoft practice can absolutely help you improve and not end up seeing various target styles for the first time during a match. Familiarity and comfort with target presentations because you've dealt with them before is a huge advantage for confidence in matches. Now, let's actually look at the targets. They are scaled down versions of what you'll see at USPSA matches, 3-gun matches, IDPA, and so on. The targets are from TAC trainers, and to state it plainly, they are really slick and well constructed for a very modest cost, considering how long they'll last and how, long, and how they're built. This is especially true compared to how much you'll spend in range fees and real practice ammo. They're made from 16 gauge steel, and they're thickly painted for a durable impact surface. These targets are thought out well. In regards for airsoft shooting, you've got the A zone on the IPSC paper tar type targets to indicate when you've hit. If you look at this stand for these accuracy type targets, there's a bend in the sheet metal so that the impact surface of the stand itself is very slim profile so that you'll know that you're hitting the actual target here instead of somewhere on the stand. The targets have simple integrated slots in the base for ease of mounting to shelving or another base of your choosing. As you can see here, I've simply drilled a 3 inch grid of holes into wood shelving and simply used wood screws to hold the target securely. This makes them easy to arrange and change the setup and the order and the type of drills that you want to shoot. You can move the targets around easily to work on different concepts, accelerator drills, tight accurate shots versus hosing targets, or whatever you need to work on. The targets are nicely fabricated and painted. The edges are deburred and smooth and they have a quality professional feel to them versus some other products on the market that look like some guy with tin snips made them in his garage. On the Tag Trainer site you'll find an assortment of different targets scaled to match what you'll see at various shooting sport competitions. For example the USPSA metric target is one third scale so you can gauge it from 10 feet at home and get the simulation of engaging the real target at 13 yards at the live fire range. As you can see there the metric targets here are different sizes. That's so you can engage them from 10 feet at home and get a different feel for actual yardage that you would see at a, at a real match. Another benefit of these is not everyone has the time, money, or local resources to have access to all the types of targets you'll see at a competitive match. But with these airsoft target, target offerings, you can experience and practice on a Texas Star or a plate rack right at home, for example. A real Texas Star target costs upwards of $700, while a real plate rack runs you over $1,000. Now all local ranges have them or allow you to regularly use them for practice either. So take a look at how nicely these are made so you can practice at a fraction of the cost. 
star rotates smoothly as you saw on a nice bushing and the plates are held in place securely with, by magnets, yet they come off easily when cleaning the hit. If you hit elsewhere farther in on the arm, the plates won't fall off, except if you hit right where the magnets are holding the plates. Then you're being cheated a little bit uh, in practice by this star. It takes less than a minute to reset the little plates and the star does behave like the real deal. Take a look at how nicely the plate rack is built and when solidly mounted, the plates fall as they should when hit without upsetting the other plates. This is, there's even a reset bar on the back that you can attach a cord to to reset it if so desired. The poppers are a simple yet effective design that indicate when they've been hit and obviously self-reset for efficient practice time. With the targets that mimic real paper metric or classic targets, you've got a loose plate at the A zone that indicates and rings differently for those hits. It works well. Take a look at these reduced size targets which are intended for rifle work. After talking with tra tag trainers a bit about expanding the line for three gun practice, they've added these targets to the site. The square plates are replicating eight inch plates in, on the real range, and of course the USPSA targets you are familiar with. A small yet nicely thought feature is that the distance to shoot the targets is marked as the first number for airsoft, so in this case 20 feet, while the second number is the yardage you're replicating, so that would be 20 yards. And this, so for this target, you're looking at shooting it from 20 feet to replicate a, this size target on the real range at 70 yards. So now you can work on offhand rifle shots at 50 plus yards right at home, which is also useful for pistol work given that some three gun matches will put C zone or E type targets at 50 plus yards. With airsoft, here's a tip that some of you may find helpful. If you can, try to get black BBs. These will merely help keep you focused on the gun's sights and picking up targets rather than seeing the white BBs uh, in flight, which can be distracting and cause you to lose some focus. If you do use white BBs, it isn't a huge problem. Just be cognizant of staying focused on the sight picture and your sights. I'm pretty impressed with how these were built and how they represent actual target sizes. I'm really impressed with how functional the star and the plate rack behave. If you have a small area in your garage, outside in the backyard, or in your basement perhaps, you've got a usable and useful place to get some cheap practice in easily. Not to mention shooting them is a lot of fun. At this point, I'm giving these targets a big thumbs up. Nicely made and durable, they can provide a lot of use and will be great for working on your target transitions, dealing with different types of target presentations in terms of acceleration and sight focus, and what speed you can push on those target presentations. Cheap, convenient practice with Airsoft is going to help you a lot more than no practice at all. Go check out www.tactrainers.com to see all the target types they offer and dive into setting up your own convenient practice range. The link is down in the description and if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section and I'll answer the best I can. Have fun and stay safe.